Hello, everybody. I am just testing really quickly. Make sure everything sounds okay, looks okay. Oh, let me turn off my autofocus. Whoops, didn't mean to do that one. <laughs> uh, there we go. All right, I am a little, a couple minutes early because I wanted to make sure my internet was working. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you will know that I, um, yesterday we got an email saying that our internet was going to have um, some maintenance being done. <laughs> so I was so worried it was supposed to end at eight, but it seems to be good. So hopefully I don't drop out at any point. Um, so yeah, small town living. <laughs> All right. I am going to wait a couple more minutes until seven o'clock so that everybody can join. But I do want to say quickly um, that I appreciate everybody. And hi, Jess. Hi, Joan, Lisa, Dawn. Um, Micah, I think. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name right. Joy, Cindy. Thank you guys for joining. Hey, Heather. Sharmita, I hope I'm saying your name right. Tori, hello. I am so grateful for you guys. I, we as a whole, everybody that is involved have been working so hard on this. And it was honestly, when I first thought of it, it was kind of like an idea. And I was like, oh, it might, I might not be able to get everybody. And oh, well, but I'm so grateful for everybody that um, that is joining. And um, Katya, Susan, oh, yay. <laughs> D, Dem Demayan, D, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name right. Joy. All right, I am going to um, get started, I think. Let me see really quickly. Because, all right. Let me just say hi to a few more people. Nelly, Fatima, Arlene, Ronnie. Heidi, <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining. Okay, so a few things. First, I want to say a huge thank you. Can you guys hear me okay? I'm a little bit away from my microphone. I wanna say a huge thank you to all of the amazing ladies that have joined. I truly appreciate you guys and dealing with me and trying to figure everything out. I appreciate it. I have um, a page over on my website, tiffanysolorio.com, and you can see all of the listed or all of the uh, participants, all of the supplies. Um, and I did that because some people have, um, they don't have uh, Instagram or, or Facebook. I know how surprising that is, but it is true. Some people don't. So if you don't, um, then you can head on over there. But all of the information is listed in the description box. So that's another thing if you um, need to know, um, you know, say you want to come back at a certain time, you want to know who is on going to be on at that time. Um, and let me see, I have a little thing here. Okay, so I want to welcome you to a World of Heart live stream event. Your next stop is going to be Heather from Heather's Crafty Life. She is in here, which makes it super easy because if she stays the whole time, you can just click her um, her name and then head on over there. I am Tiffany Solorio. I am sorry um, for those of you that don't know who I am. I am the first stop. So there is going to be 24 stops. All right, and you can also find the full list um, in the description box below. 
And then you can also find all of the sponsors, um, which are here. The, there is one that is not listed here. It is Arteza. And uh, let's see. And I am so grateful for them for sponsoring um, some amazing prizes. Also, um, I have it here. Uh, Frank Garcia is offering 15% off for viewers March 30th and 31st um, for his store. And the code is HEART and you save 15% off. I don't know if he ships worldwide, um, but I know that he just got in Minte papers. So that's exciting. Um, and let's see. Okay, so there is a giveaway on every single live stream. So you have to be active in the live stream to in order to win a prize during that live stream. And the winners will be chosen during that live stream. So that's important. But then after, if people are watching later, or you can go and watch again and comment and all that sort of thing, there is going to be a handful of uh, giveaways that will be um, uh, chosen or people that will be chosen on random videos um, later. So after the live stream event is over, you can, um, if you're watching this later, you can comment down below letting me know your country um, because there is some restrictions on some of the um, sponsors where they um, want to send things to. Um, anyway, how is it? Okay. Um, let's see. Does that make sense? So you can win so many different ways. So each stream you can win, a, you can have a chance to win and they are done at random. Um, and then after the event is over, um, we will go through the different, everybody's videos and then choose different winners um, from a few different uh, live stream videos, recorded videos. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, let's see. You can, can you guys tell I'm nervous a little bit? <laughs> All right. And, doo -doo -doo. oh, and I did say that some of the sponsors and some of the giveaways are United States only. And I know that this is a um, international event, but some of the sponsors have chosen just to do um, United States only because of um, different reasons. Uh, so I wanna make sure that everybody knows that. And um, all right. Also, one other thing, if you create something inspired by any of these live streams, we do have a couple hashtags. Um, and I see Karen in here. Maybe she can um, put them in the chat. It is a hashtag a world of heart or and a hashtag a world of heart 2019. If you I want to do, uh, use those so that we can check them out and tag the person that you were inspired by. Um, and I hope you guys check out everybody's channels. And oh, thank you, Jess. <laughs> thank you, Kanak. Oh, I see so many of the uh, participants that are joining and doing live streams. All right. Hello to everybody that is just joining. I do have a giveaway winner from... Um, I had posted if everybody on Instagram or Facebook, if they um, tag their friends or share the event, they were entered to win a entered for a chance to win a prize. I have to be really careful of how I say that. Um, and the winner is Jess Larios. She, I think, commented on every single. Um, meet me video or meet me post like um she was very active and she was always sharing and commenting and everything um and she actually i kind of did a little research she has a facebook page and it is matter of crafts so if you guys want to check her out very very um inspiring 
um, person to go check out. So she is going to win a prize pack from Um Wow Studios, which Didi Catron is actually the owner, um, and she's in the chat. So thank you, Didi, for donating that. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen her yet. I could be missing her, but um, yeah. And if you uh, win a prize, um, you can either contact you, the stream that you're on because um, most likely you will have their information or you can go on over to my website uh, and um, I have my email address and everything over there. All right. I need a little sip of coffee, you guys. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to be good. My project is pretty simple-ish. Oh, whoops. I really apologize, you guys. My microphone just fell. Yes, Jess, she is, I see her everywhere. And it was honestly, it was, you know, I was scrolling through trying to pick, a, randomly pick a winner and her name just stuck out. So that one, um, yeah. So, all right, I am going to be creating a mixed media canvas. So I'm going to get that out of the way. This, I believe I got at Target or Walmart. <clears throat> and you want to stay active in the chat because my giveaway, I didn't even announce what my giveaway was. Um, my giveaway is, are you ready? It is a $50 gift certificate to scrapbook.com and um, a, I can't remember if it's all the exclusive sets or a select few of their exclusive stamp sets. So... Yes, so you want to stay active in the chat. My giveaway is $50 gift to scrapbook.com. Yes. Okay, let's get started. I have, let's see. Um, where? They changed the the packaging on me, so I was a little lost. All right. We are going to start by putting, adding some gesso to this canvas here. And this is just some white gesso. And all of the supplies will be listed in the description box. Um, and I did wanna say quickly, that a lot of us have the um, affiliate links in the description box or over on our um, websites um, for our projects. So if you have a favorite YouTuber or crafter that you watch um, during the stream and you want to purchase items, be sure to go back to their video and click on their link so that you can support them. It really helps us out. And I want to make sure that um, your favorite people, you're supporting your favorite people. We can't, I know it's hard to choose, um, but I did want to say that as well because many of us do have the affiliate links. So, all right. So this canvas is six by six. And just adding some gesso here. Oh, here comes the sun. Hopefully it's not gonna get too bright. I've never done a live stream this early, so I didn't know how the light was going to be. Okay, so who is planning on staying or trying to stay for the full 24 hours? Oh, Kim, what do you mean you're getting pop-ups? Like ads? I'm sorry. I'll have to um, disable that for the next time. 
I do apologize. It's on like auto, whatever it has it on. <laughs> so, <clears throat> oh my goodness, so many of you. That's so wonderful. That's amazing. I don't know when or if I will, but I think I might actually have to take a little nap today because I didn't sleep very well last night. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I have my big cup of coffee. All right, this is a stencil from Finnebear. Let's see if it has a name. It's called Swirly Florals. <clears throat> it's pretty new. So it's a really nice stencil. And I'm going to add some um, paper texture paste. <clears throat> and this is a um, Tonic Studios spatula. I ab absolutely love these. I love the Finnebear ones, but these are a little bit more comfortable in your hand because they're round. And I don't know, I just like them. So I should have picked actually one of the um, art panels from Prima. All right. So we are just going to add this, just like this. All right. And I am going to be honest, I didn't have any idea what I was going to create until yesterday. <laughs> I haven't been in a really crafty mood except for making cards. And I didn't really want to make a card because I have had lots of card videos on my channel lately. So um, hopefully this turns out. All right. So we have the paper paste and I like the paper paste, how it absorbs the color. Um, every paste is a little bit different on how it is, absorbs the colors and the sprays and other mediums. Okay, just pick that up. I'm gonna see if you guys can see that. There we go. Very, very pretty. All right, I'm just going to add a little bit to the sides. Um, not gonna add any of the stenciling there, just a little bit of the paper paste. Because when I add the color, It'll give a little bit of variation on the project. Okay. All right, is that how it goes? No, it's other way. this way. Okay, set that aside. It is, it's beautiful stencil. Okay, I am going to use my heat tool just to, just for a second. Um, and just in case you're wearing headphones, it might get just a, a little bit loud. Should have hooked up my other one. Mm 
<laughs> okay, yeah, I think the microphone kind of drowns it out a little bit. Just want to want to make sure I don't want to um, blow anybody's eardrums off. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. Got to remember, I only have one hour. So I am going to paint all of my embellishments. So we have, kind of have everything laid out here. And I have some random things. Then I have, this is a um, Wow Studio chipboard piece. These are as well, these little stars. Um, love them. Okay. Then I have some of these art um, pebbles, some of these sticks. And this, I think this is from uh, Two Crafty Chipboard, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> All right, need to get painting. I talked quite a bit in the beginning, so I apologize. All right. And I'm just using some white gesso. I'm gonna pounce on my paintbrush on these stars because they do have little um, like holes in them. So I don't wanna fill up the holes with the gesso. Uh oh, I think I gotta sneeze. Okay, maybe not. Uh, beginning to be springtime. It was really windy yesterday. And it's so funny because I never had allergies until I moved to San Diego. So I grew up here in Nevada. And then I moved to San Diego for, I don't know, like four or five years. And then I came back and then I have allergies. No, I was actually in San Diego for almost 10 years. I forget that I'm, how old I am. <laughs> All right, so I am just painting these. This is a Tim Holtz, I don't know what it's called. I've had it for so long. I don't even know if you can get them anymore. Um, this is from an IOD mold or Prima mold with some paper clay. And I don't like to cover the paper clay all the way because I like the variation when you add the color to them. Okay, so if I, for some reason, or if anybody doesn't finish their project um, in the hour time slot, they will continue to um, create their project um, that way for the people watching after um, can see the finished project and you can head on over to the next channel or stay. Um, we really are going to try to get every project done in the hour. Um, but just so you know, you won't miss out. You can always come back if they are not done. Okay, and for those of you just joining, the next channel is Heather from Heather's Crafty Life. And if you could all do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up, be sure to um, like everybody's videos, um, 
It really helps out. <clears throat> yes, and share if you want to. That's appreciated as well. Okay, once I get this all painted and glued on, it goes pretty quick. So I think we'll be good on time. This is a metal embellishment from Prima. Um, these were made for the wood plaques from IOD that they used to have. Okay, <clears throat> and I have a bunch of these sticks. So, I should have done a little bit of prep work before. I apologize. <laughs> this might not be as that fun. But you guys can chat and stay active in the chat because I will be picking a winner for the $50 gift card. And I believe scrapbook.com does ship to most countries. All right, let's do a grouping here. Just wanna make sure that I don't see um, Stephanie in here. She's normally my moderator. <clears throat> and she'll tag me so I could see any questions, but I think you guys are doing okay. All right. I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. All right, this is dry, except the sides. All right, I need to <coughs> see. I took a picture before um, so that I wouldn't forget how I wanted it. <coughs> okay. Um, all right, first we are going to put this, make sure I'm in frame. Um, I think I got mine at Hobby Lobby. Um, but I have a link. I don't, I think they're about the same size. Um, but you can get them at Hobby Lobby with a coupon if you prefer, uh, but if you can't <clears throat> get them, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, it's a little bit early. I was looking at the time and I'm like, why did I choose seven o'clock to start? That's pretty early for me on a Saturday. All right. So my glue that I like to use is Fabri-Tac. I, whoops. I like it because it is very tacky. It holds everything, but it doesn't dry very quickly. So that way I can move things around. Um, and if you have been a follower of mine for any time, you will know that I move things around quite a bit. I am going to get up really quickly to get some string. So I will just one second. 
This isn't the string that I wanted. Okay, that's not the string that I wanted, but, oh, you know what? I think it's right here somewhere. Yes, it's here. See, I thought I was being smart and putting it close to me because I use it all the time, but then I forget that I put it close to me. <laughs> all right, um, we'll save that for um, later. Okay. And then we have the twigs which I'm gonna put kind of snug together, Let's see. Um, but I am kind of making them not line up 100%. And if you live where there's a bunch of trees, I would say go outside and get some twigs. I have palm trees and um, what are those things called? Um, the tumbleweeds, that's what I have, so. Okay, almost done. The fun part is coming, you guys, I promise. All right, and I'm not as like too worried about it being exactly even, but I am gonna try to get it a little bit more even here on the sides. Okay. All right, the glue I am using is Fabri-Tac. Uh, it is a little bit pricey, um, but you can go to Hobby Lobby or um, Michaels and use a coupon. I use it on everything. Okay, next is the, sorry, I have to look at my, uh, my photo for reference. Okay, and be active in the chat because I will be picking a winner. So I'm going to add some string to the sides of these, or this, I should say. And how I do that, I just add a little bit of glue to the back here and just kind of stick it down like that and just wrap. This gives a little bit of interest and a little bit more texture to the project. And let me grab some scissors. <clears throat> okay, and the next side. And if there's anything missing in the uh, supply list, I will add it. Um, I am, like I said earlier, if you're just joining, I didn't really have any idea what I was going to create until last night. So I was trying to um, get a supply list together and um, 
for me, I tend to add things and take things away as I am creating. Um, even if I do have sort of an idea of what I want. Um, so the supply list will be updated. Okay. I think because there's so much weight, this would honestly have been have been better on a flat canvas. Um, but we're here now, so we're gonna go with it. It is getting very weighted in the center. Um, okay. Just want to make sure that I'm not missing any questions really quickly. And if there are ten, if there is like a spammer or some troll, just just yell at me <laughs> so that we can um, get rid of them. And hello to anybody that is just joining. Your next stop is going to be Heather over at Heather's Crafty Life. She is amazing. Okay. Look at my picture here. Okay, so we have these little bubbles here. Um, let's see. Yeah. We save everything or buy everything or a combination. Um, I'm not sure what you mean. Like is everything like recycled stuff or bought stuff? It's kind of a combination. Okay. Then we have this piece here. It's gonna go right there. And I know what some of you are thinking. You're covering everything up. And it is true, in a sense. Um, if you, hmm, let me go like this way. If you are new to mixed media, it does seem kind of odd to add all of this stuff and then cover it up, but the end result is amazing because you have all of these different textures and things poking through here and there. So, um, it all adds to the end result. That's all, that's, I say that all the time. Oh, that's not very uh, straight here. All right, we got this one. Gonna add that there. Then we have to remember where I'm putting all of these little things. These are some metal embellishments from Finnebear. They're like little bolts and screw looking embellishments. And let me see. Right, I'm gonna put one here. And one here. And we're gonna add these little stars. I love these little stars. And if you're just joining, these stars are from Umwell Studios, which is a sponsor 
Um, and Didi Katron is the owner. She's in the chat and she will be live later as well. So you want to check her out. Okay. Then last, this is a little stuck and I don't want to rip it. All right. Okay, there we go. Is my Actually, I'm going to keep that off for now because I'm going to add more gesso here. And thinking about it, I probably should have used hot glue for the live only because this um, the glue takes a minute to dry and but that's okay. All right, while I am painting a little bit more on here, I will um, say again that there is a giveaway on every single channel and some uh, people are giving away personal giveaways from, you know, they have either bought stuff or they own a um, store or company or something uh, and <clears throat> out of their own pocket. So that's amazing as well. And we have all sorts of different sponsors. I'm grateful for everybody that is involved and that has um, donated a prize and all of my friends that are doing a live stream. Okay. And then after the live event is over, uh, you have another chance to win by commenting on two. Okay, sorry <laughs> for a sneeze. All right, um, by commenting on the videos and um, so yeah, so if you can't stay for the whole 24 hours, um, and you still haven't won a prize, go back and check out everybody's videos and then comment and we'll be choosing random um, people from there as well. So lots of ways to win. Okay. Do you post recorded live videos? Yes, yeah, so they will be record, like we're doing it live, but then um, it will be posted. It will be public and you can watch it later if you can't catch a whole um, live stream or if you have other channels that you wanna go watch. Um, and it is not required to watch every single live stream uh, to um, win a prize. You just have to be active in that chat to win that particular prize. You don't have to subscribe to everybody, although we do appreciate it. If you are inspired by somebody, you can support them by subscribing to them. But it's not a requirement. Okay. I'm going to hit this with my heat tool really quickly. Oh, thank you, Donna and Vanessa. 
and Shamita. You guys are amazing. Just want to make sure the gesso is dry. Okay, so um, who did I see that said they struggle with color when keeping it simple? Ivy. Okay, I am only using, I think, one color today. Well, I take that back. Two, I think. So I'm going to be using some of my favorite, favorite color is uh, Dragonfly Blue, okay? And then I will add a little bit of a darker color to give the project a little bit more depth and then some gesso on top like I do um, in most of my projects. So I think that is a way to keep it simple, just using one or two colors um, that go together. Um, Trudy, the winners will be chosen on every single live stream. So each channel will have a giveaway. They will be chosen in that um, live stream live. So you will know if you win, okay? And then after, so for a week, so next Saturday, which I don't remember what the date is going to be, but next Saturday, um, the winners will be chosen from the recorded videos. Does that make sense? I hope that helps. All right, I'm going to put down some Okay, so I usually don't spray, um, but I am going to That's funny. Dining room, table, seating. Okay. And we're just going to go at it. Add all this color. And if you are new to mixed media, you can always, what I like to do is take the, the nozzle out and just go like this and you have a little bit more control. Um, or you can use a paintbrush or something. You don't have to spray because spraying, I think, uh, terrifies some people if they're new. I'm gonna make sure that I'm getting the sides and I'm running out. Okay. And I'm not being perfect with um, getting coverage on every single part. Yes, you can use any um, color you want. Uh, Vanessa, yes, the live streams will be back to back. So in about 10 minutes, I need to hurry up and finish this. In about 10 minutes, you will go over to Heather um, her channel is Heather's Crafty Life, and the link is in the description box down below. And I'm going to heat this.
Uh, yes, you can paint. I often use uh, watercolors for mixed media projects. I think it looks great as well. Where's my darker color? Okay. So for my darker color, I'm gonna be using black soot. And for this, I am just going to take off the nozzle and just kind of go in where I want a little bit more depth. And I am kind of freaking out a little bit because I have 10 minutes <laughs> that have to be done. If I am not done, please head on over to um, Heather's channel uh, so that you can check her out. Um, and I will still continue to create my project. So if you want to see the finished project, you can. And I am going live again at 12 a.m. Um, so I can show it then as well. Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit of water, which I, yep, here we are. Oh, uh, let's see. I think you're trying, Vanessa, are you trying to share her channel? Thank you very much. Okay, so I am going to choose a winner for the $50 gift card to scrapbook.com. And they will also be sending some exclusive stamp sets to you as well. So if that is a prize that you would like to win, keep the comments coming so that I can choose a winner. I was going to use my Nightbot system, but I don't have time. Okay. The winner of the $50 goes to Kim, Kim Bowie, Kim Boy. Kim, you are the winner. And don't um, you have a chance to win on every single um, every single live stream. So congratulations, Kim. And yes, that's exciting. Scrapbook.com is amazing. They have so much wonderful stuff, and they're shipping. They spoil with the shipping, I, I will tell you. I when they when I place my order, sometimes it ships that day, if not the next day, and then I'll get it the day after. I am um I think they're located in Arizona and I'm in Nevada. Um but when I order from other places, I get upset because it's not coming right away like it does from scrapbook.com. So Definitely spoil with the shipping. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of here. And a little bit more here. And I actually am gonna spray a little bit. I'm nervous because these spray not well. Actually, I take that back. And I am going to have to finish this after um, my hour is up, but be sure to head on over to Heather's channel. She's amazing. Don't want to miss her. She's so positive and such a great friend. I did too much talking in the beginning. <laughs> oh, thank you. I don't... I'm sorry, Vanessa, for it keeps um, hiding 
Okay, are you going to add wax? To uh, no, Heidi, I'm not going to add any wax. When I was trying to figure out my project, I noticed there is quite a few ladies that are doing um, Art Alchemy Wax projects. And that was my first thought was to do one, but I figured that I'd do something different because there is a, quite a few ladies using the Art Alchemy Wax. I still don't know what I'm going to be doing um, for my next stream, so that will be interesting. But I have all day to figure it out and which I think it's going to be hard because I'm going to be watching everybody. Um, and Kim, make sure you message me. Um, I'm pretty sure I think I'm on Instagram or Facebook or email me and I will get you the information for your gift card. And then we can get the information to scrapbook.com. So they can send you the um, these stamps. And again, I will say it again, you still have a chance to win on every single channel. So the more channels you watch, the more active you are. And everybody will be picking their winners differently. Um, so, yeah. Question, what color are you going to make the wood or the word piece? I will probably keep the word piece white so that it stands out. Um, and I will be brushing on white over all of this as well. Oops, I don't want that. I want this. So, and this will be, um, I will continue to create. And um, so you can see the finished result later and I will show it uh, on my later stream as well. Um, okay, I think I'm going to stop for now um, just because I did want to give you guys a heads up for some of the prizes that you can win on the other channels. Um, and this needs to dry anyways. All right, so Olga, she is going to be giving away a um, all and create prize pack. Um, then Disorganized Crafter, she's Nikki. She owns Queen's Craft Fair. She will be giving away a prize pack. Uh, Karen is going to be giving a Joggles gift card, I believe. Um, Heather is giving away a $25 gift card to Lindy's gang. Um, and then also Cindy Will, I believe her last name is. She will be giving away a $25 gift card to Lindy's gang as well. Um, Alexandra over at Hedgehog Hollow is going to be giving away a $25 gift card. And she helped us get the Tonic Studios prize pack. Um, which Laura Gallimore is going to be giving away. Miranda Weber, she is going to be giving away a prize pack, um, which is United States only um, for Deco Art. Davida is giving away a $50 gift card to Renee's Bouquet. Um, Jessica is going to be giving away um, a $25 gift card to Brutus Monroe. Corin is going to be giving away a Heffy Doodle gift card. Crystal is going to be giving away Prima marketing price pack. Daisy is going to be giving away a $25 voucher to her store, which is Tsunami Rose Designs. And Candy is going to be giving away a Vintage Girl, which is her product line. So many prizes. <laughs> okay, so you have so many. And then Kanika is giving away a $20 gift card to Rainbow Craft Kari. Uh, Mary is giving away. Um, some brush pens from Arteza. Amazing. I am so grateful. I um, love their brush pens. Uh, and Janelle is giving away my Rusty Crown gift card, which is United States only. They only ship to United States. Um, and the Arteza is United States only. Um, and again, you can get 15% off your purchase over at Frank Garcia's Frank Garcia Studios store. Um, and the code is heart 
today and tomorrow. Um, and there is 49 in Market, 7 Dot Studios, Viva Las Vegas, Minte Papers. They are giving away their whole line of 12 by 12 papers to somebody. Snip Art, 13 Arts. Um, I don't think I forgot anybody. I think that's it. And then there is also lots of people giving away personal prizes as well. I'm giving away more gift cards. And they could be random, so you could win twice on somebody's video. Uh, but I do want to thank you guys uh, for joining me. I am sorry that I didn't get to finish my um, project, but I will stay and finish it so you can watch it later. Um, Brenda, don't worry, you might you might win. You never. There are so many prizes and chances to win. Um, and so head on over to Heather's channel. And if you haven't done so already, give this video a thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys over at Heather's channel. And I hope you guys are having fun. Um, and any questions? I know, Marianne, I had no control over um, the companies uh, choosing not to ship overseas. Um, I know it's, it's hard because a lot of people can't get products overseas, but, um, yeah, I tried my best to get as much sponsors as I could. All right. Head on over to Heather's channel, which is Heather's crafty life. And I will post a link as soon as I can find it. Give me one second. And thank you guys for joining. I truly appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Um, Heather's Crafty Life. All right. Here is Heather's channel. So be sure to head on over there. Um, you can stay and see the finished project, but I do highly recommend you going over there and showing her some love. Um, commenting, she is giving away a $25 gift card or gift certificate to uh, Lindy's gang. So you want to be sure to stay active in the chat over there. Um, and this is a 24 hour event. So if you have things to do, you can come back, you can watch the, um, the videos later, um, all of that sort of thing. Okay. So for those of you watching later, I apologize for all of that. Well, I don't apologize. Um, well, yeah, I do, but I don't. It had to be said. All of that had to be said. But I am going to get back to the project is, I guess, what I'm going to, um, what I was trying to say. All right. I'm going to heat set this a little bit. Stephanie, there you are. <laughs> oh, yes, I can post a link again to Heather's channel. I apologize. I will be staying here and finishing up my project, but I do recommend you heading over there. That is her channel link. Okay, now that it's died down a little bit, I'm gonna drink my coffee. This is my first cup of coffee <laughs> for the day. And my cup is still pretty full. All right, I am bummed that I didn't get my project done because I love watching Heather create. She is amazing. She is a little bit more of a simple uh, scrapbooker, but I get inspired by her all the time. She's an amazing friend. I know <laughs> I should have drinking my coffee first. 
Okay, I am going to um, add the gesso here. And how I do this is, okay, thank you. You're so sweet. All right. Um, how I do this is I use my heat tool because the gesso will mix in fairly quickly with the sprays because they are water soluble or water, um, you know, they react together. So I don't want them to mix together. I want it to be, I want the white to highlight all of the textures. So I use my heat tool to make the gesso a little bit more tacky. And then, um, it helps, and then I'll just, hopefully this is in frame. Might need to be a little a bit more dry here in some areas. So, Kay, what have you been up to? Reborn, they should. I don't think everybody had a chance to schedule their live streams, um, but uh, they will, so some of them will just go live at their time. They're not scheduled yet. Um, so if you go to each channel around that time and then just hang out on their channel, There's no chat at Heather's channel. Are you on a, are you on your phone maybe, Trudy? That's weird. Let me go check it out. Um, so I apologize for those watching later. Um, let's see. Let me mute my thing here. I see the chat, it's there. Hmm. Yeah, try again, maybe, um, yeah, I don't know. Or maybe there's like a tab at the top or something. I know if you're watching on your phone or iPad, it could be a little bit different. Um, and let's see. Tina, you're trying to learn how to edit your videos. Editing is my least favorite part. <laughs> Okay, so I am just going to continue to add the gesso here, and I'm going to do this a little bit quickly because I want to be sure that I'm over there if there's any questions um, or anything, so...
So I'm going to turn it so I can get on this side. Hey Lori, my stream is actually supposed to be done, but I didn't finish my project in time. So you are more than welcome to stay here or you can head over to Heather's channel. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> if you haven't heard of the event that's happening, it is a 24 hour live stream event. Um, so the next channel is Heather's channel. So here is the link and um, you can head over there or stay here. Either way, I appreciate you stopping by. All right. <laughs> you're watching both that's so that's so cool uh thank you Lori. i appreciate it so this is how it's turning out so far the glare from my window uh, let me close my window really quickly sorry i don't normally stream this early so um here we go so it's pretty simple. So it's just two colors. If you are just getting into mixed media, um, just layer a bunch of stuff together, add some gesso and add the color and you want to add um, one, the lighter color first and then the darker color to give the project a little bit more depth and to even, um, highlight a lot of those areas even more like the texture you add the uh, white gesso on top and if you are just joining how I do that the easiest way is because the gesso wants to react with the spray um, so I generously add some gesso to my brush and I'll use my heat tool and dry at the same time it makes it very tacky um, and it helps just let that gesso sit on top of whatever your project or your texture and all that. Um, so yeah, it's very simple. I love how this looks. It reminds me of like a wintry something, I don't know. Like there's like snow on top or something. I love doing this with purple as well. Purple looks really great. Um, this technique. And if you are more of like a shabby person, you can use a light pink. Um, there's so many different options. Okay, so I have my inspire word here, which I want to put here. And I'm going to paint that a little more white here.
Hello, Scrappin' for my boys. I cannot believe I keep forgetting your name. I apologize. My stream is supposed to be over. Um, and everybody is over at Heather's channel. But I appreciate you stopping by. I am just finishing up my projects for those that um, are going to be watching it later. Monica, Monica, Monica. Okay. I will try to remember. <laughs> I am horrible with names. I apologize. I will get it someday, hopefully. There's a um, lady that works at my kid's school, and her daughter is the same age as my daughter, and they're really good friends. And I still don't know how to pronounce her name. And it's been a couple years now, so... Honestly, I don't even know. I'm at the school quite a few days out of the week. And for the last, my son's in sixth grade. So seven-ish, seven, eight years. And um, I don't even know all the ladies' names in the office. <laughs> I'm horrible. Okay. I think... I'm going to call this done. If the sometimes with a project like this, the gesso will still react to the color. Um, and so later on, after it's dried completely, I probably will have to go back in with another um, little coat of just this dry brushing and then using my heat tool to make sure that it's tacky and stays on there. Uh, but for the most part, it is done. All right, those of you here, do you guys have any suggestions for my next? I'm going to be doing two live streams today. Well, actually, I take that back. The next one is at 12 a.m. tomorrow. So I still have no idea what I'm going to make. So have any suggestions on what you want to see? But today I have 15 gallons of coffee for, <laughs> to prevent losing all feeling in my lower. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. My kids are at my mother's house um, since last night. Uh, and I think my husband's going to go get them um, around noon. Um, but they'll be sleeping when I do my next live stream. So, and they're not too bad, but. I didn't want any distractions this morning. I'm sure they would have been sleeping, but just to play it safe, had them at my, my mom's house. I have my Keurig machine filled up with water, so I am um, going to, I should move it to my craft room. That's a, well, no, because I still have to go to the kitchen to get the creamer. Oh, no, I have, I can put it in an ice chest. Is that going a little too far? <laughs> Don't want to leave my room today. Um, okay. <laughs> Stephanie, how are you? I've missed you. I've missed everybody. I haven't been able to do a live stream and I I feel bad and I miss everybody. Just so much going on. I know I need a couch in here too. Uh, 
Okay. I think I am done. So what do you guys think? Yes, the stencil is amazing. And I think it's was sold out, but then I think scrapbook.com got it back in stock. Um, but yeah, I am actually going to, oh, hello. This is what happens when I don't finish my coffee. I'm trying to put on a lid that doesn't even, well, I take that back. I am awkward and everything all the time. I shouldn't say it when I don't finish my coffee. <sighs> Who am I kidding? I'm crazy and weird all the time. All right. I was trying to put the lid on something that it didn't go on. All right. So I am going to finish up. Head on over to Heather's channel. I know some of you are watching both, which is amazing. What are you guys going to do when, if there's like three or four people still finishing up their projects? That would be interesting. <laughs> All right. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. If you are here watching after the live event is over, please comment down below um, because you can have a chance to win a prize as well. We wanted to spread the love to everybody. We knew that everybody could not um, make it to the live event. Uh, so, we are going to pick some random winners next weekend. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and supporting this crazy idea that I had. It was so crazy. And I'm glad that everything is coming together. Um, and I will see you guys over at Heather's channel or on another stream. All right. See you guys later. Bye.